Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. Today's video is going to be a men's shirt refashion. So I got this men's shirt for $3. It's light and airy. The color is fantastic. It had no pockets, which was perfect for this project. And it also had this beautiful print and I had to turn this shirt into a dress. So I turned it into this wrap dress. Look at that. Uh, uh, work it girl. This turned out so cute. I really love the result of this DIY. And I have to warn you, this is going to take a whole day or more to make. It took me an entire day to make it. So in case you're ready to put in the work, let me show you how to do it. So you're going to take a shirt you love the fit of, fold it in half, I took this pink shirt. I also propped up the collar and closed the top button just so I'd maximize the space available. And then I lay my shirt as you see me doing and now all we're going to do is trace the sleeve line onto our shirt. So what we're doing is we're making a new armhole for our beautiful dress. So I just followed the sleeve line as you can see me doing, marked underneath and this did take a minute because you have to go back Back and forth but it's going to be so worth it because you want your armholes to fit you quite nicely so I do recommend you do this step so after that was done I just went back in with a chalk just to make sure you guys could see the line and this is what we ended up with and now I'm going to also trace the top of the shoulder the shoulder that is not the top of the shoulder yeah the top of the shoulder what the heck I'm so confused anyway I traced the top of the shoulder and as you can see we got that line and now now we are done with our t-shirt so we can take it away so now you're going to measure from your shoulder to your waist this is where you want your waist to fall on your dress minus 15 inches and I'm just going to measure that from the shoulder line we drew and I marked off 15 inches and you're going to draw a straight line across that point my shoulder length was four inches in case you're interested in that I put that in and now you're going to join the top of the shoulder line you drew to the waist you drew the waist the straight line at the waist oh my god I'm so confused today so after drawing a straight line oh my god this part was so tricky I drew out a curve and I took like 30 minutes to figure this out I changed chalks and I was like no this is not working out so I do recommend you don't cut off a lot of fabric as you can see you can slightly see my curve it's very confusing but make sure you're not cutting off too much fabric because you don't want your dress riding up too high and you're gonna show your lady bits okay so after that was done we're now going to seam rip the buttons and I just used a seam ripper for this I took out each button because we are going to use the entire fabric and we don't need the buttons in this and make sure to recycle keep them somewhere safe you can use them for another project so now moving on I'm just cutting out the bit of fabric we just drew around and I'm making sure to leave a seam allowance I left a pretty big seam allowance I'd say this is about an inch so yeah it's always better to have more seam allowance than you need rather than need it and not have it you get what I mean so as you can see we are cutting and I ended up with this beautiful curved piece I also went in and made the curve a bit curvier because I thought that was necessary and this is a piece we ended up with so now you're going to put it upside down on the other side of the shirt and make sure she's nice and flat she's in there she's cooperating with the government and giving up everything she needs to give up she's paying her taxes and now you're just going to cut out a similar shape as you can see me doing this is literally copy and paste so just cut out a bit of fabric and you'll have two pieces and they kind of look weird at this point but I promise you this is going to work out so now moving on to cutting out to the final bit which is a back bit I took my t-shirt again and I lay her flat I made sure she was nice and in there and I'm just going to trace out the neck hole once the neck hole was in place she was in there I went in back again because you couldn't see it and I really wanted you guys to see what I was doing so after going back in that's what it looked like and now I just took a piece that we cut out from the front and I'm going to use this to trace out the shoulder line that we need and the armhole you obviously want your dress to fit you everywhere the back and the front so we have to do this for the back as well 
After that was done, I just took a ruler and drew a straight line down all the way to the bottom of my shirt. And after that, I just cut out this bit of fabric halfway though, because we need to trace this onto the other side. So just follow the line because we've already left a seam allowance with the top bit of fabric. You don't need to leave a seam allowance here. And when I got to the middle bit, as you can see, I just folded this in half. That way we duplicate this exactly on the other side and our back bit will be nice and equal. So I really do take my sweet time cutting, my goodness. This is sped up, by the way, that's so funny. Anyway, after everything was nice and cut, we now have our pieces of fabric and with this back bit, this is what it looks like. I got rid of those weird tags you're seeing because they were weird and I did not like their vibe. And now with the back bit, we're going to turn it upside down. That is the right side inside, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to put everything right sides kissing. So I just lay the front bits right sides kissing. As you can see, they're the wrong side up. And I'm just aligning everything, making sure everyone's getting along at the party. And this is the point I'm going to have my ties and we do need to leave a gap on one side of our dress. So I'm just marking that point that we need to leave a gap at. I left a three quarter inch gap. I also put double pins that way I know to stop sewing when I got to the sewing machine. And I just pinned everything in place and I had to even out the bottom bit cause she was trying me girl. Everything was uneven so I needed to make it even before taking this to the sewing machine and now you're going to sew up the side the shoulder bits and the other side please make sure to leave that gap it's essential and continue sewing so when you're sewing the side with the gap just do a regular straight stitch and as you can see as I'm drawing close to the pins I'm making sure I can see them girl and then I just backstitched a couple of times I went overkill with the backstitch I did like three backstitches fam that is a lot you don't need to do that many but better safe than sorry so after that just skip your gap and then continue sewing make sure to backstitch of course before you proceed sewing that way everything is nice and taut and this dress will not snap open so as you can see, we have our gap there. She's sexy. Can a gap be sexy? Well, in this case, whatever. But yeah, we have our gap and everything is nice and sewn. So as you can see, the side is sewn, the shoulder bits are sewn, and both sides basically. And now I'm marking the point where the ties will go. We need to hem the top bit of the fabric. So I just made sure to mark those points and I'm just going to double hem my fabric. This is to give it a more finished look. It looks fresh. It looks like it was done in a shop or buy some fashion designer and not in your bedroom. So yeah, just double hem the fabric and this is really easy to do. Just fold in your fabric twice and do a straight stitch straight across. So there I am working in the fabric, making sure she's tucked in and this just hides the frayed edge and your fabric won't fray, which is a problem with a lot of shirts, honestly. So after that's done, as you can see, everything is nice and neat at the top and it stops where the ties will go. And this is just fabulous, honey. So now we're going to cut off the sleeves, make sure you have both sleeves. And now it's time to just go crazy. And you have a new bracelet, by the way, cause the cuff is sexy. See, look at that. Anyway, you have to go crazy and find as much fabric as you possibly can because we need to make the ruffles, we need to make the ties, we need to make the ruffle for the arm bits, we need to make binding. So I honestly can't understand how I got so much fabric, but I'm just basically giving you an idea. I even got fabric from the cuff guys, like I literally snapped it open and cut out fabric. So here I'm just drawing out rectangles that are seven centimeters wide and I'm making them as long as I possibly can. And I did this for both sleeves. I I looked for fabric in nooks and crannies that I never knew existed and as you can see we have a lot of fabric so this is what's going to make your ruffle and you just need to join this right sides together so I'm just making sure they're nice and right and then pinning the fabric together and I did this for all that fabric you just saw and as you can see we have quite a bit of fabric so you're going to sew along the pins to join all these pieces together so every point there's a pin just make sure 
you so just a basic straight stitch also make sure you overlock your fabric that way it doesn't fray on you so as you can see we have a lot of fabric I also reserved two pieces for the arm ruffles because we do have a bit of ruffle at the arms as well so once I did my straight stitch it looked something like that and I overlocked the fabric as well and as you can see we have a very long bit of fabric so the more fabric you have the better you want to make sure your ruffle looks cute so now we're going to finish off one edge of the ruffle bit and I'm just going to do this by double hemming the fabric all the way down so just literally the same thing we did for the neckline just fold the fabric in twice and do a straight stitch straight across so this did take a minute because as you can see we have quite a bit of fabric to get through and always 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 make sure to backstitch so once you're done doing that you have your ruffle piece looking like that I also made sure to finish off the sides and now you're going to set your machine to the longest stitch length minus five and you're going to do a straight stitch all the way down the edge you didn't hem so don't backstitch this make sure you don't backstitch because you want to be able to pull the strings and just do a straight stitch all all the way to the bottom as you can see I did not backstitch make sure you have a lot of hanging thread cut that off and now it's time to ruffle so since this piece was so long it literally took me 20 minutes to ruffle it out so basically all you're going to do is pull on the top string and just shush out the fabric as you can see some cute ruffles are forming but this is going to take you a minute because you need to push the ruffles all the way and everything needs to look nice and ruffled so get a cup of coffee and I hope you are not planning on going anywhere today because you're not you're going to be here ruffling fabric so I also took it to the other side and I did the same exact thing pull the top string shush out the fabric Fabric and do this until the day you die because you are going to be here forever so the trick to not breaking your thread when ruffling out such a long piece of fabric is focus on the top string leave the bottom string out of it she does not want to be in your business so leave her out of it and your string won't break and as you can see after a hot minute of ruffling we had this beautiful ruffle piece honestly so worth the time and now we're going to attach it to the bottom bit of our dress so I'm just turning this around so that you guys can see and now all I'm doing is I'm attaching the ruffle to the dress right sides kissing so as you can see I'm just aligning the ruffle with the edge of the dress the bottom edge that is and pinning everything in place make sure to pin it nice and in place that way when it comes to sewing you don't have to move things around and everything looks nice and neat so I just pin the fabric in place along the bottom edge after you're done pinning you're going to sew along the pins this way your ruffle is attached to your dress so as you can see I went to my sewing machine and using a basic straight stitch I just sewed across the points where the pins were it does help to have your pins horizontally is that the right word yes it helps to have your pins horizontally because you don't have to move them out of the way when you're sewing just make sure the ball head doesn't get caught in your sewing machine because that can break your needle but other than that just sew your life away and this will beautifully attach the ruffle to your dress of course don't forget to backstitch unless you want this dropping on the ground when you're walking and after that's done your ruffle is now attached to your dress I also overlocked the edge just to make sure everything didn't fray and now you're going to take two bits of fabric and you're going to fold it as I'm showing you fold the sides in meet them in the middle and then fold it in half and iron that down what you're doing is we're making binding for the armholes I just had a bit of fabric left and I decided to make binding it just makes the dress look neat and now all I'm doing is I'm finding the midpoint of my binding and I'm just going to attach this to the bottom bit of my armhole it just gives the dress a more professional look in my opinion but you can definitely double hem it if you don't want to do this bit so I just tucked in the bit of armhole inside the binding pinned that in place and as you can see it just makes the armhole look very clean very finished very profesh which is something we always strive for and when you're sewing you're just going to sew that onto the armhole and as as you can see she looks nice and pretty I really love that we did binding here and now with a bit of ruffle I had two bits of ruffles for the arm so what you're going to do is you're going to attach the ruffle to the bit of fabric without the binding that is the armhole so as you can see I'm just spinning them together right sides kissing that way I can attach the ruffle to the armhole and once you're done pinning you're just going to sew along the pins this way your ruffle will be attached your binding will be attached and everything will look nice and clean so 
now you're almost done with this project i promise but as you can see the armhole looks very professional very neat love how it turned out so now you're almost done with this project guys just hang in there so as you can see we have a lot of scraps of fabric and i'm just going to join them together to form two ties you do need two ties for your dress and basically once you've joined everything together to make your tie you're just going to do the same thing we did with the binding you're going to fold in the sides to meet in the middle and then you're going to fold this in half and then sew along the edge this is going to give you a very clean very neat and finished tie which is something i really liked and yeah just sew along the edge take your time with this make sure you're sewing as straight as possible although if you're using the same thread no one's going to notice so you can go crazy and this is what that looks like it's literally scraps of fabric just holding each other and making a tie so as you can see we have our gap on one side and the side of the gap is where you're going to attach the short tie so i got two ties from this they were 48 inches and 21 inches and it shocks me how i got so much fabric from this shirt so now all you're going to do the side of the gap make sure you attach the short tie so a straight stitch straight across that point and now the opposite side make sure the ties are straight from each other and you're going to attach the longer bit on the side without the gap because you need this to go around and tie around your body and once everything is nice and sewn I just did a basic straight stitch across those points and now to wear the dress you're just going to pass the long tie through the gap on the opposite side bring it under your dress and tie it on the opposite side with the other tie and that's basically it so this is one way to wear the wrap dress you can also completely take the tie around which I also showed you in this video so after you're done you're now done with your project she looks fabulous and this is the result I am so in love with how this turned out I did not need another wrap dress but I made one anyway and I love how this turned out the ruffle bit is so cute and it also helps with the dress not being too short the ruffle makes sure everything is nice and hidden this dress is super cute and it's made with love which just makes it so beautiful I really love how this turned out that's what the back looks like she looks good I really love the ruffle bit as well so this is way one of wearing the dress you can also wear it by taking the longer string completely around your body and tying it off on the other side and just do a cute bow and as you can see this cinches in your waist it looks good anyway guys that's it for me today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you're going to try to make this wrap dress for yourself i know it seems a bit intimidating but i promise you it's super easy to follow and you can make it for yourself too so i really do hope you try it out out. other than that thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you in my next video until then stay safe and i love you guys so much see you next time bye